Hello, welcome to our another tutorial. In this video, we will show you how you can uh, create a front end post submission form. So, in order to do that, first you need to install our ultimate address for control 7 free and pro, and then you need to install the post submission add on. Once you do that, then you need to go to ultimate address settings and enable this add on from here. Now, let's uh, create a form. So we uh, so let's uh, create the form. Let's name it post form. Uh, let's keep your name, email, and your message. We'll just create some additional fields here. So as you see, we now have we need to add four items. So let's create four levels. So it's title. Description image and category or text on image, whichever it is. Now, all you need to do is just add these tags. Now let's sub submit it. So let's create a page with this form. Now, if we go to the front end, we should now see the form on front end. So, as you see, post title description, and here you see the categories. Um, so, uh, so from you see if there is the ultimate post settings from here you need to enable the post submission and from here you can select the post type so whatever post type you have uh, our settings will fetch everything so if you have to publish something on the page you just need to select page if you need to publish something on the blog you can do that from here so let's select posts and let's save it now um, as you see here we now only have one category so let's show you some items so let's go to post categories so here let me add a dummy cat so if we now reload you should see this new category here here you see a dummy cat is not here now let's uh, Publish so my name is John Dowie, John Dowie.com. So it's a lot of fiction. Now let's select uh, an image. And we'll select the category and add the message. Now, depending on the your image size, the submit form will take some time based on the image size. So, you need to wait until it uploads. So, as you see, now it is uploaded. So, if we now check our posts, you see this is now uploaded. And if we go to the front end, so as you see the image is should be here and there's a title description there is a this is the image so that's basically it um this also works with advanced custom fields um let me show you how advanced custom field works So in order to use Advanced Custom Build, we first need to install the plugin, which we already did. Now let's go to Custom Fields and let's create some fields here. So blog posts and let's create a field. So author name. Um, just make sure the field name don't have any underscore for now. And let's create a field called author 
by so let's make it text area now let's uh, post type is equal to post so if we now go to post so we now have author name and author bio on the post so now let's create our form let's go to our post form now you need to remember this uh, posts ids post name which we need to add here so what you can do is you can just add these text areas here and add a text area here now instead of this id the author name we need to add this one and for the author bio we need to add this one now let's add some labels Author name, author bio. Now let's go to a page. So we now have author name, author bio. So let's redo this again. John Doe. So I've skipped this part. Let's name this author dummy author. And let's read in a description. Now let's submit this form. So the form is now submitted. Now if we go to now the back end, if we open this blog, we should see the information. There you see author name and author bio and the custom fields. Now in order to show them on the front end part you need to basically add uh, the custom fields on your specific templates for that you need to go to advanced scf documentation i'll leave it on the description of this video so if you go to documentation and if you go to field types and go to text areas so you should find the template uses here so if you follow this documentation and know how to add the tags on the specific templates so whenever you add these tags then these fields will show on the uh, single posts so that's it let me know in the comments if you have any questions thank you